Vladimir Putin on Tuesday said that he was opposed to sending any kind of nuclear weapons into space. The Russian president dismissed Washington's accusations that Moscow was developing a space-based anti-satellite weapon. Now, this is a rumor which has been doing the rounds all across since a number of weeks. Now, Defense Minister Shoigu stated Russia does not have the system Washington accused it of developing. The U.S. said last week it was worried that Russia was developing the system while saying it posed no immediate threat to people on Earth. In a meeting with a defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, Putin said, we have always been categorically against putting nuclear weapons in space. He called the accusations part of a clamor being raised in the West. Putin said, Russia has suggested strengthening cooperation in the space sphere, but for some reason in the West, this topic has not come up again. The rapidly evolving threat in space was one of the primary reasons that the U.S. Space Force was established in 2019. A lot of that threat has to do with new capabilities that China and Russia have already developed. They can interfere with critical satellite-based U.S. communications such as GPS and ability to quickly detect missile launches. Now, in recent years, the U.S. has seen both China and Russia pursue new ways to jam satellites in space, intercept their feeds, blind them, shoot them down and even potentially grab them with a robotic arm to pull them out of their programmed orbits. One of the key missions of the Space Force is to, re is to train troops skilled in detecting and defending against those threats. In its 2020 defense space strategy, the Pentagon said that China and Russia presented the greatest strategic threat in space. The Pentagon flagged their aggressive development of counter space abilities and their military doctrine calling for extending conflict to space.